Hi, I'll now show you uh, how to compute the radial geodesics a, a, of uh, light rays in the Schwarzschild solution. This method ought to be fairly simple for you. So I did it as simple as uh, it can be possibly done, I think. So here's what it is. Basically, by by uh, the symmetry of the the metric etc you can just take uh, two dimensional radio slices and the metric reduces to this so you know in the, in the usual coordinates so you have uh, these coordinates that are sort of descendant of the usual coordinates then you have that the metric is gij of rt is this matrix right here f 0 0 minus 1 over f where this f is just a function of r not of t um, right and here's actually what the function is f of r is this 1 minus capital R over little r f of little r and capital R is just the Schwarzschild radius um, so now here's how we're gonna come up with our uh, with our light like uh, geodesic just postulate some curve of the form b of t where b is some function of t comma t so you can see that the root of that is going to be gamma prime is going to be b prime comma one now set the light like condition in others set a uh, gamma prime dotted with with a uh, gamma prime using this metric set that to be zero when i do we get this right here okay All right. So doing a little bit of algebra, we get this. A little bit of further algebra, right? Bringing the, the f on the bottom to this side, etc. You get that. Now taking the square root, and here I'm being a little bit uh, uncareful. I think because you know there's like a little bit more you have to justify, you know, when you take the square root and so on. But anyways, uh, one branch of the story at least will just be this, right? F times b prime equals one. But this f is f of r, but the r is really, you know, the b, right? Because the the in this curve right here, the b plays the role of r, and the t, I could have used another letter for t here, but anyways, but the, the b plays the role of r, and the t plays the role of t. All right, so um, so we had to have uh, you know the, the little r replaced by b here, so we did, and this is what the differential equation reduces to. Right, one over one minus r, a that social radius over a little b, times b prime equals one. But notice that this has this form: some function of b times b prime equals one. If you notice, that looks like the derivative of something else. So that would be the derivative, let's say, of g of b, right? Which would be g prime of b times b prime, and g prime of b would be this f of b right here. And so this would be g prime equals one. Therefore, g of b will be t plus some constant d so g uh, capital G is just an antiderivative of you know capital F like that so you look up you know in your favorite uh, way or using your favorite method what the antiderivative of this function is f of z equals 1 over 1 minus that constant capital R over z and once you find it so once you've got your capital G then you have that the b that you're looking for is just g inverse if it's at all invertible of t plus d it's going to turn out to be some kind of a natural logarithm or something like that you can easily look that up and finally your then your curve your geodesic is just going to be whatever this b is but in here comma t so that's it easy peasy